ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಗುಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈ ರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾತ್ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯಭಿದೀಯದೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೀ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ವಿಶೃಣಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇ ಮಾಕ್ಷಭಿರ್ಯಜತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈ ಸ್ತುಷ್ಟುವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜತಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಯಿಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಃ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷಿಯೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಠನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕೃದ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರತಾನೈ ಸ್ಥಿರಚರ ನಿಕರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ವಾ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ತವಿಷ್ಟಾನ್ ಪುನರಿ ದೃಶಣೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಿತಿ ಮಧುರ ಭುಂ ಮಾಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ ನಃ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯಂ ಪರಮೃತಮಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಯತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಅತ್ರ ಎತೇ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಂತಿ ನಿವೃತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖಾನ ಈಶಾನ ಪ್ರಭುರವ್ಯಯ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸರ್ವಾನ ದೇವಸ್ತುರ್ಯೋ ವಿಭುಸ್ಮೃತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞತೈಯಸ ವಿಶ್ವಲಕ್ಷಣ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖಾನ ನಿವೃತ್ತೆ ಈಶಾನ ತುರೀಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಶಾನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಇತಿ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪ್ರಭುರ್ಭವತಿ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ತದ್ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತೆ ನವ್ಯಯ ನವ್ಯೇತಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪತ್ವಾತ್ ನವ್ಯಭಿಚರತೀತಿ ಯಾವತ್ ಕುತ ಯಸ್ಮದ್ವೈತ ಸರ್ವಾನ ರಜ್ಜುಸರ್ಪವತ್ ಮೃಷಾತ್ವಾತ್ ಸ ಏಷ ದೇವ ದ್ಯೋತನಾತ್ ತುರಿಯ ಚತುರ್ಥ ವಿಭು ವ್ಯಾಪಿ ಸ್ಮೃತ ಸರ್ವುಖಾನ ನಿವೃತ್ತೆ ದಿ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ದುಃಖಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ದುಃಖ ನಿವೃತ್ತೆ ಈಶಾನ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಮೂವಲ್ of all dukkhas what is dukkha pragnya tejasa vilakshana vishvalakshananam sarva dukkhanam nivrittehe ishanaha turiya atma this turiya atma and the gnanam of the turiya atma because later on bashikara says tad vignana nimittatva dukkha nivrittehe so the atma vijnanam is the nimittam the cause the reason for elimination of all dukkha and what is the all dukkha collectively is represented as pragnya tejasa vishvalakshana nam everything which comes under the pragnya tejasa vishva <coughs> all kinds of experiences are fraught with unhappiness because they are based on erroneous notion the erroneous notion is dvaita bhavam the duality the basis itself is an error because it is built on the error that everything is different there is a division between myself and what i am experiencing this division causes pain pain 
in a sense dvaita dhi bayam bhavati dvaita is the cause for all dukha you may ask i here and there i experience some pleasure some happiness you can't say entire pragnya taijasa vishwa as dukha you can say that actually this pleasure and happiness you experience also is because you are suspending the duality momentarily suppose i am craving for something say a new model of apple watch so i am separated from it because i don't have it now so there is a craving there is an unhappiness now i get that watch so momentarily what happens i suspend all my other problems i it's not just the watch absence alone that was a problem for me i had so many things i wanted my son to be an engineer i want my wife to behave with me well i want my neighbor to be different i want my prime minister to behave differently i want my chief minister to tell different so there are n number of things which disturb me right but all that is suspended at that moment when i get my i watch apple watch and then momentarily i am a non dual so that is the reason but even then again i search for the same happiness in the apple watch the next day it is not available that moment i got it i had had that happiness but after that it is gone so then i have to search for some other source for my happiness like i go to in himalayas some missouri i i enjoy the nature okay i look at wow that's a huge you know i get to the tip of the mountain i look at the vast you know greenery and then i i'm wowed okay two minutes there is joy after that i get used to that place that joy is gone after two minutes right <clears throat> now next time i go there also i am used to that place so now i need to find another different place where i gain that happiness so it's all and but then i am not only i am not getting that happiness next time i am disappointed that despite going to missouri i am not happy so that happiness also is momentary and unhappiness is what predominantly is there so that is the reason we are after this pursuit because that state of unhappiness is unacceptable for us that is why we are after pursuits every pursuit dharma artha kama moksha all pursuits is because my state of unhappiness is unacceptable to me that doesn't seem to be my true nature so i want to get back to my true nature because that's why i i am i enjoy the deep sleep because i feel i am at ease when i am awake i am all the time disturbed but when i am in deep sleep i am happy why so the source of happiness seems to be outside of all this engagements that i am having but is that how it should be is a different question i am not saying everybody keeps sleeping just understanding what is there is what we are doing okay so here bhashyakara says pragnya taijasa vishva lakshananam sarva dukkhanam so that whole experience of three states itself is dukkha now the question is those are the only states i have there is no fourth state you are saying turiya this and that but i don't see any other state either i am awake or i am dreaming or i am deep sleeping and if you say that is all dukkha all three states are dukkha then that means i am all the time any anyway going to be only dukkha is there a way out am i going to know suddenly because i study vedanta get a fourth state outside of this pragnya taijasa vishwa am i going to this turiya is you no know, another like nirvikalpa samadhi it is going to be another new state all the time i'll be in that turiya state so that i can experience absence of dukkha okay is that what it is 
is going to answer all this in the next few verses okay but here at least the summary statement is the uh, hypothesis here is pragnya taijasa vishvalakshananam sarva dukkhanam nivrittehe ishanaha turiya atma and tasya jnana tad vijnana nimittam dukkha nivrittehe tak nimittatva dukkha nivrittehe so that vijnana only is nimittam for dukkha nivritti how we have to see now but he says pragnya taijasa vishvalakshana ar dukkha okay ishanaha why ishanaha because prabhu why dukkha nivrittim prati prabhu bhavati he is the lord who removes the dukkha the prabhu like the king okay so he is the prabhu means what the bhu bhavati prakarshena bhavati right now the one the who exists with all glory that prabhu ishanaha is the one who removes all the dukkha and what is the, how he removes he saw that in the last session itself is it you pray hey hey bhagwan you know can you remove me of all the dukkha can you do i will do with this japa 108 times you are prabhu you are prabhu you are prabhu then my dukkha is removed because the prabhu is pleased prasanna hue aapke jab se i became very happy then therefore my var deta hu tumhara dukh khatam ho jaye you may all your dukha get re- removed is that how it is no he says tad vijnana nimittatvat just by you knowing that prabhu okay your vijnanam it's not prabhu who is going to come and give you that okay we, we generally say there is certain level of ishwara anugraha which is needed for you the grace is needed for you to gain this vijnana the grace is what is your punya bala only the phalita punya is the grace okay now this prayer also is a punya the punya karma is a karma it gives punya therefore so i am not we are not dismissing prayer the so just because i said don't think that okay i shouldn't do japa that is not the intent the japa also is a prayer japa is a prayer is also a karma and it has certain phala and that phala will make you qualified for jnana but then it is not because bhagavan is pleased and then i am pleased prasanna manam like the i am pleased therefore i am giving you this jobi var mangte ho i that's not like that is not how it is so it is your gnanam tad vijnana nimittatva so you aspire you go tad vidhi pranipatena pariprashnena guru meva abhigachet you have to act you have to consciously make effort to gain this gnana okay it is not a passive surrender alone surrender is good because it reduces your ahankara that is good but it is i have to actively pursue that is why vividhasha sanyasa is prescribed you leave everything you suspend all your active engagements and submit yourself to this vision so that not, why do you have to do all that why have do i have to suspend all my activities and actions and because they come and disturb when you are gaining this gnanam when you are pursuing this knowledge you need to be fully available for it you should be fully collected yuktaha so you have to be collected fully available for this gnanam you shouldn't be disturbed when you are sitting and listening to vedanta your mind should not be thinking what should we prepare for lunch i mean these the thoughts will come and go i am not saying 100% everybody is only listening and completely grasping that is impossible but predominantly it should be there right it shouldn't be like only 10% you are able to hear listen or focus that is a problem that means you are technically not there you are only physically there ears are hearing it 
mind is not grasping why because you are disturbed you have that's why if you have thousand activities then you are bound to be disturbed if you have only 10 activities in a day then the amount of distraction will be less that is why they in bhagavad gita also no bhagavan says just for sharira just to keep your body and protect yourself from bad weather and all that whatever is minimally needed you do he is talking about with vividisha sanyasi in uh, chapter 6 or 5 uh, one of that he talks about that there the sharira yatra for karma alone you do that's how bashikara says okay just do what is minimally needed you don't have to hurt your body you don't have to starve that also is going to disturb you no it doesn't help so people go to other extreme generally then they will say tapas and this and that and then they won't eat properly they will stand on their head that is all not needed that's not what bhagavan says okay yoga you do for half an hour one hour to keep your body fit that's fine but predominantly the the effort is to learn to know right so you keep all other activities less so that it doesn't disturb you but at the same time don't starve for food don't you know stay in a place where it's not clean it's not safe then all the time you will be seeing whether there is a snake coming anywhere nearby don't go in a sit in a forest where there is even that in gita during meditation he says suchau deshe pratishthapya sthiram asanam all that right sit in a clean place sit in a good uh, asanam right sit on some stool or whatever which does it's not shaking all the time you should not be afraid that it's going to fall off any time that doesn't help you so be in a place which is comfortable organize for your food so that you are not starving have reasonable food so that you you are not sleeping also dosing off because of too much of food so yuktahara viharasya yukta jeshtasya so whatever is adequately needed for you you do and pursue this gnanam <clears throat> so this vijnanam only is important knowledge so whatever that's why it is prescribed that you pursue this knowledge because finally what is the purpose of life to be fulfilled that is what you are anyway aspiring for fulfillment is what you are aspiring for and that can be gained only by this so it, you can drop the other things because otherwise there will be guilt you know some people will be guilty see i am born what is the point in god has given me this birth i have to do all this action i have this activity i have to fulfill this role as a father as a son all that then you keep doing so see you have to fulfill minimally what is needed for the role but that doesn't mean that you know you have to uh, only focus on it what is the purpose See, anyway any amount of things you do it only gives limited benefits right you might earn crores of rupees also what is the purpose how does it help so if you look at the larger picture right that is what we are talking about so we are not against any of these things okay so we need to be clear we are only analyzing how the life is and what is the objective and how do we make it beneficial so and once if they have have this gnanam then it is a different thing right then you earn you do whatever and then anyway all that you will do is for the benevolence of the society right you you will be doing things which naturally will be benevolent because you are not in a grabbing attitude it is good for good people who are sishtas to be in possession of some some money and wealth so that they contribute like puji swami ji used to attract people used to come and donate but then he will use it for so many good things right for uh, aim for seva for for some temple renovations and whatever right it goes for good cause for the society so that is okay we are not against so the the luxury of having certain wealth and richness is always you can do good right but for an agnyani it is about grabbing so they like they deviate from dharma they hurt people they hurt themselves in their pursuit for wealth and it's a very different thing right see in this case of agnyani he doesn't care if the wealth is not there that is fine if it is there he'll spend for something good 
Okay, anyway, so we'll come back to the subject. Tadvijnana nimittatvat dukkha nivritte he. So the Prabhu, knowing the Prabhu is the reason, is the way to gain dukkha nivritti. Knowing, knowledge only. So you have to actively know. That is from where only we branch it off to other things, right? So you have to actively pursue. This jnanam has to be pursued. Parikshalokan karma jitan nirvedamayad brahmanaha nasti akrataha krutena. So you cannot, any amount of karma will, will not help me gain this. Because nasti akrataha krutena. This is, it's akrita, it's a siddha vastu. Your turiya is already there. It is about you. We are talking about your three states and Turiya, which is also you. So it is not going to be gained. Your sleep is not uh, something you gain by going to Swarga. Your vacan is not something you are going to gain by going to Cambridge. Your deep sleep is not something you are going to go to some, some place. Similarly, Turiya also is something about you, right? Soya Matma Chatushpad. Whatever it is, let's forget what Turiya is. We will come to that. Whatever it is, it is like Swapna, Jagrat and Sushupti. No? That means you are not going somewhere and gain or earn money and gain whatever. So it is a Siddha Vastu. If it is a Siddha Vastu Vishaya, then you have to only first know. Okay, You, the, you don't have to do anything to gain it. It's not like a Punya Phala or something. Therefore, Vijnana Nimittatva. So you have to know. And that Vijnana you have to actively pursue. And that jnanam avyayaha na vyeti. It doesn't change. Why? The vastu doesn't change. It doesn't have any avayava. The turiya doesn't have any attribute. So there is no possibility of going up, going down, gaining weight. My atma was, Brahman was very thin. Now it has gained weight. In Krita Yuga, Brahman used to live thousand years. In Dwapara Yuga, it used to live. You can't say all that. It is beyond time. It is beyond space. So it has no attributes. It is not an object. There is nothing other than it. So even the smallness and largeness is not attribute of it. So there is no Vyayaha. Anuraniyan, Mahato Mahiyan. It is the smaller than the smallest and greater than the greatest. Means it is beyond all dimensions. It is beyond time. Because time, time has, time is what? Time is the moment superimposition of things on the present. And both of them are lighted up by Atmos too. So the time also is a Mithya. So there is, so Atma is beyond time. It's beyond space. It is beyond any attribute. There is no Guna. Therefore it is Avyaya. There is no Vyaya. There is, it doesn't diminish nor grow. Because it's beyond all that. <clears throat> Swarupat na vyabhicharati iti yavat. Atma also Swarupat na vyabhicharati. The jnanam also Swarupat na vyabhicharati. That's why he says kutaha. How? Yasmat advaitaha sarva bhavanam. Sarva bhavanam advaitaha jnanam. It is like non different it is there is nothing other than it so there is no question of it reducing growing whatever raju sarpadate mrushatvat so everything that you are seeing is mrusha so there is only raju sayesha devaha dyotanat devaha the effulgent swayam prakashate it is it's not inert it is awareness, it's consciousness, it is it's the existence of everything. Turyaha, Chaturtaha, Vibhu, Vyapi. It is all pervading because there is nothing away from it. Everything, there is no distance between it and everything else. There is no everything else. What is appearing as everything else is it only. Karya Karana Baddhau, Tau Ishyate, Ishyatejasau. Ragnya karana baddhaha tu dvautau turyena siddhyataha. Karya karana baddhau tau ishyate vishwa taijasau. So the vishwa and taijasa are 
ಕಾರ್ಯಬದ್ಧ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾರಣಬದ್ಧ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಬದ್ಧ ಕಾರಣಬದ್ಧ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಭಾಷೆಯ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಕಾರಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರಣತ್ವ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಯತ್ವ ಬೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ವೇಕನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ವಿಶ್ವ ತೈಜಸೌ ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞ ಕಾರಣಬದ್ಧ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಕಾರಣತ್ವ ಬೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞ ದ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ದ ದ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಸ್ಥಾನಿ ಆಫ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದ್ವೌತೌ ತುರ್ಯೇನ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯತ ಓಕೆ ಬೋತ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಾರಣಬದ್ಧತ್ವ ಕಾರ್ಯಬದ್ಧತ್ವ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತುರ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಶ್ವಾದೀನ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ವಿಶೇಷ ಭಾವ ನಿರೂಪ್ಯತೆ ತುರ್ಯ ತುರ್ಯ ಯಾತಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಅವಧಾರಣಾರ್ಥ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ತುರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟೆಂಟ್ ನೌ what is this turiya we have to understand now right we don't have clarity on what is turiya to understand that yatatmya avadharanartham what is the yatharta swarupa of this turiya that's why i said sometime back now that he is going to talk about how how this is advi what is turiya and why, why it is advi so here turiya yatatmya ಅವಧಾರಣಾರ್ಥಂ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟು ರೆಕಾಗ್ನೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ತುರ್ಯ ವಿಶ್ವಾದೀನ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ವಿಶೇಷ ಭಾವ ನಿರೂಪ್ಯತೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಜನರಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಹಿತ ಜ್ಞಾತ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೇಸ್ನೋ ಇನ್ ಗೀತ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಿಶೇಷ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಜನರಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ತೈಜಸ ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞ let us look at it that is what the karika kara says is how bhashya kara starts the karyam kriyate iti phala bhava what does the word karyam means kriyate that which is made iti phala bhava the fruit of an action karanam karoti iti bija bhava that which makes it that which is the reason for a ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಇತಿ ಕಾರಣ ಕರೋತಿ ಇತಿ ಬೀಜ ಅದ ಸೀಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ದಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಕಾರಣ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಜ ಭಾವ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಉಪಾದಾನಕ ಹಾನಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಪಾದಾನ ಕಾರಣ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಉಪಾದಾನ ಕಾರಣ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೀಜ ಭಾವ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಹೌ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ನೌ this is bija and that is phala the seed and the fruit okay now karyam karanam now there is next next slide tatva agrahana anyata agrahana bhyam bija phala bhava bhyam tau yathoktau vishvataijasau baddhau samgrihitau ishyate ishyate okay ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ಅನ್ಯತಾಗ್ರಹಣ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಜ ಅದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಲ ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ನಾಟ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂ ನೇಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಫಲ ದ ಫಲ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೃತ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ all that is here is one that once that jnanam has taken place that is how then the all the experiences will be that state is tatva uh, tatva grahana now not having that state means there is an avidya now okay that avidya atmakam then the state of possessed with that ignorance is agrahana ಆಫ್ ತತ್ವ ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ದೆನ್ ಅನ್ಯತಾಗ್ರಹಣ ಅನ್ಯತಾಗ್ರಹಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ತತ್ವ ಗ್ರಹಣ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತತ್ವ ಗ್ರಹಣ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಯತಾಗ್ರಹಣ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ so this is bija and that is phala why agrahanam is the reason for anyata agrahanam 
if there is grahanam tattva grahanam is there then anyata grahanam is not possible so anyata grahanam is possible only because agrahanam is there see that is called mula vidya so there is this i have already spoken about this right some people say there is only adhyasa there is no avidya there is no mula vidya and they say these are mula vidya vadis something they they try to create that confusion this tattva agrahanam is what is called as mula vidya that's all there is agnyanam avidya has to so the bhashyagara clearly says i don't know how people say that bhashyagara doesn't say tattva agrahanam agrahanam is not error anyata agrahanam only is error agrahanam is ignorance only okay so when there is agnyanam then only adhyasam is possible when there is a rajju agnyanam only sarpagrahanam is possible sarpagrahanam dandagrahanam daragrahanam and all that is possible on rajju only if there is a rajjutva agrahanam is there okay so tattva agrahana anyata agrahana abhyam bija phala bhava abhyam so agrahanam is bija anyata agrahanam is phala tau yathoktau vishvataijasau okay only when you don't know that this fellow is an actor he is rajinikanth you don't know then you will take him as as a police officer in a movie okay but if you know he is a rajini he is an actor then where is the question of you taking an anyata grahana you know you will know that he is only playing a role so anyata grahanam doesn't mean that you won't once you gain the jnanam the you won't see the sun and moon okay anyata grahanam is the advaita bhavam is not na grinnate so the advaita bhavam is not perceived so you perceive them as a dvaita dual that is anyata grahanam anyata grahanam is duality anita grahanam is not like i am seeing the sun i am seeing the wall even a jnani will see the wall and sun okay differences all that will be seen despite differences despite nanatvam being seen it is all one that is the jnana despite me seeing the pot and the lid and the jar i am seeing only clay that is jnanam that is agrahanam and anyata agrahana it is not about not seeing the part at all yeah you you don't attribute reality to the part that is yatatmya agrahana tattva agrahana bija phala bhava abhyam tau yathok it's not a it's not a belief again okay so again the, the difference is it's jnanam that all of them are one it is not a belief that so vedanta is a pramana shruti is a pramana and shruti says everything is one therefore i have pramana buddhi i i believe that they are all one means that is that is not how we look at pramana it is not like dvaiti looking at pramana no they say it is pramana bhagavan has given is can be people this is how they say no i have read their books i am not saying out of my own this thing they that so they say is can people say krishna is the god how do you know because he has said ha eh? and bhagavatam is still still that's belief no you are believing then he he is the one who has created the how do you know again this book has said and praying only to krishna will give you heaven how do you know because he said sarva dharman paritejya mam ekam sharanam vrja all other gods are demi gods they report to krishna then there is this structure rudra reports to krishna then all ganesha all these are demigods and then he says yaya anya anya devata bhakta that also they are only praying to me then means what if you are you pray to shiva or ganesha or, or saraswati then that is not then why you have to they they i have heard this uh, vishta dvaiti is and dvaiti say that if you can directly pray to krishna that is possible then why unnecessarily go and pray to all demi gods who are lesser than krishna so that is why we don't pray the children also they teach like that 
So my daughter's uh, friend, she has come and told my daughter that her friend is, uh, so she has said, my father tells all these other gods anyway report to Krishna only or Perumal only, Mahavishnu only. So praying to them, it will go only to him. So that is why we don't pray to other gods. We will have to only pray to it's okay, they pray. See, the problem, I'll tell you what is the problem. The human mind needs, each mind is different. And each one has an emotional attachment to different form and different kind of... You are able to relate to Bhagavan depending on your nature. You are more comfortable. Somebody is more comfortable uh, to pray to a Parashakti, right? And someone is more comfortable to... Uh, to pray to Shiva, who is like, you know, who is like, who has, he doesn't have any jewels. He is like, you know, uh, he doesn't wear any dress. He is just a smashanavasi. That kind of, somebody likes that. No, if you have to say everybody has to, you, only this kind of a God form you have to pray, then what happens? You are creating some nastikas there, okay, out of 50 people. 10 people will be okay. Other 40 will, will not be able to relate to God in that form. Then they become, they start to become uh, non-believers and all that. Correct? That is why we have in the, our rishis and smart people who create smritis and puranas, they created these kind of forms so that you are able to relate to, see, we also say it is Sarvatma, one Ishwara, one Saruna Brahma only. But then you can invoke in a form and a guna that you are able to relate to. See, finally, all these are guna. No? Sri Krishna, Bhagavata Krishna is a, is a set of guna. He did this leela, that leela, because you are able to relate. There is an emotional relationship you can have. Somebody has a willing to is a more comfortable having emotional relation to Subramanya based on that kind of guna that are spoken about. Somebody likes Ganesha because that kind of a guna you are comfortable with. So you go to Ganesha. That is a broader thing, right? So now that is why otherwise we have nothing against people. You know, if everybody is in a position to invoke Bhagavan as only Mahavishnu or Sri Krishna, what problem we have? We have no problem with that. But then there is an inherent deficiency there, right? And you... There are acharyas who have done this thing. It is available. The gold mine is available. And these people, because of their own stigma, right? They want, it's again a number thing, right? People want to collect as many people. The whole missionary thinking, right? More and more people should pray to my God. It's a thing, right? If you like some movie scene, generally if you are watching YouTube or something, you like one scene, suppose you enjoy it, then you will call no, your friend, your daughter, your spouse, and then say, hey, look, 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 this is so good, nice. And that person won't enjoy this as much as you do. Then you try to justify. No, no, no. The reason I asked you to look at it is because you see that the way he acted, you know, that reaction and emotion. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen similar things elsewhere, suppose that, but then you get angry. Okay. Because you are, they are not able to appreciate what, this is, what, this is a psychology, right? I, I like something. I want more people to appreciate the same thing. It's a human tendency to grab more people. That's why this whole missionary thing, right? I pray to this God, so I want, you know, lakhs of people, more and more people. Because you are guilty. You don't know whether you are doing the right thing. Then you want to, you want to basically, you know, justify yourself. You want validation of what you do from others. So you grab more people. You try to convert them. That is what this is, right? What is so different here? When you have to say that in only Krishna's form. So that it's not so anyway, coming back to that. So when we take say Shruti Pramana, this it's not like Iskan saying, right? This Pramanam, because Bhagavan has said, He has said only you have to pray to me. So I that's all belief. Okay. It is a faith. You trust something, so you are just we are not talking about that here. Okay. That tattva aprati bodha matramevahi bijam. Pragnyatve nimittam. <clears throat> Pragnyahatu bija bhavena yeva baddaha. Okay. So, why I went, I am just trying to recollect how I branched off to that discussion. Anyway, 
तत्व अग्रहण अन्यताग्रहणाभ्या बीजफलभाव्याम तौ यथोक्त विश्व तेजसौ बद्ध संगृहत विश्ये प्राज्ञ तो बीजभाव बद्ध सो दिस् वेकन अंड ड्रीम ओके दीस् आर् बउंड बै वाट तत्व अग्रहण अंड अन्यताग्रहण सो नाट नोयिंग द तत्व दूप अंड Taking it as nanatvam, there are many fold, there are different things. Differences are there, but division is not there. Therefore, bija pala. This is bija, and that is pala. Tau yatok tau vishvatei jaso badhau. What about pragnya? There, in the deep sleep, there is only bija bawa. What is bija bawa? Tatva. Agrahana alone is there. There is no anyata agrahanam. Agrahanam is there because you are, at this time also you are not having grahanam of tattva that there is non-duality. That is not there. Therefore, in deep sleep there is bija bawa which is tattva agrahanam. Tattva apriti bodh matra me vahi bijam pragnyatve nimittam. There is a tattva apriti bodha. Okay, that bija in the seed form. So in the seed form, it is there. In the manifest form, it is there. In the vacan, why do you say manifest form? It is there in vacan and dream because there is anyata agrahanam. Per anyata agrahanam implies agrahanam. Without agrahanam, there can't be anyata agrahanam. Therefore, you have to say that it is there. Tata ha dwau tau bija pala bhavo. तत्व अग्रहण अन्यताग्रहणे तुर्ये न सिद्ध्यता न विद्येते न संभवता अगेन इज मेकिंग अ ब्रॉड स्टेटमेंट प्रोक्लमेशन दट दीज टू बीज फल भाव बोथ अग्रहण अन्यताग्रहण आर् नाट देर इन तुर्या न विद्येते वै न संभव इट इज नाट पॉसिबल टू बी देर इनफैक्ट तत्व ग्रहण आलो कान बी देर इन तुरिया ग्रहण आलो कान बी देर इन तुरिया वै इट लाइट अप एव्री थिंग द ग्रहण अग्रहण बोथ ऑफ दम आर देर ओनली इन अंतरण अंतरण ओनली एबल टू काग्न दट ई एम ब्रह्म ओके ब्रह्म कांट तुरिया कांट Because that vritti can't be there; it is just so prakasham. So here we are not bothered about grahana. <laughs> it is only agrahana removal. Agrahana, anyata agrahana removal only. Grahana is swatasiddha. So the grahana, it's not like you are going to later grab it. It is just going to be by itself. That that is how it is. संवेत्म It doesn't samveti again. You have to add samveti. Knows, cognizes. It doesn't cognize satya or anrutam. Which one? Pragnya. The deep sleep doesn't know itself. The part the what obtains in deep sleep. Okay. It is giving the difference between. Turiya and Pragya. This Pragya doesn't know itself nor others. Na Satyam that everything is one. Na Andrutam that everything is not one. Okay, it doesn't know any of this. Whereas Turiyam Sarvadhiksada. Turiyam is witnessing all of that. Atmanam also is drashta. Paran also it is drashta. Satyam also it is drishta, Andratham also it is a drishta, it is a drik. So that is the difference. 
so because otherwise what is the difference between turiyam and sa and uh, pragna this is a question okay katam punaha karana baddhatvam pragnasya turiyeva tattu agrahana anyata agrahana lakshano bandho na siddhyetaha siddhyataha iti how can you say the karanatvam is there in pragna but not in turiya both seem to be same anyata agrahanam you say is not there in pragna agrahanam anyata agrahanam is not there in pragna anyata agrahanam is not there in turiya also but agrahanam you are saying is not there only in pragna but agra agrahanam is there only in pragna but not there in turiya how are you saying that so that's what is a question katam punaha karana baddhatvam pragnasya the cause okay the agrahanatvam the avidya the cause is there only for pragna but not in turiya why how do you say that turiye va tattva agrahana anyata agrahana lakshano bandhav na siddhyatah so in in pragna anyata agrahanam is not there turiya also anyata agrahanam is not there but agrahanam you are saying is not there in turiya whereas it is there in pragna how do you say that what is the reason for you to say the difference because is see the fact that turiya is different from swapna and and uh, vishwa is clear the question will come is how do you say ignorance is not basically there in your surupa that is a question we are addressing right maybe there is no jnana at all possible how do you say in surupa there is no ignorance it is suprakasham it is like it is a jnata jnana and all that maybe pragna is your basic state the deep sleep along with the ignorance maybe this ignorance doesn't go away it is there for in pragna it is that is same it's there in turiya maybe turiya is pragna that is the thing that is the question so bashigara again continues atma vilakshanam avidya bija prasutam bahyam dvaitam pragna na kinchana samvetti yatha vishvatai jasau atma vilakshanam avidya bija prasutam bahyam dvaitam so the duality it is not the objects it is the duality okay pragna na samvetti yata vishva tejasa the vishwa and tejasa see duality we are talking about seeing duality that's why he is, let's just lead two more two three more lines then it's very interesting he says satascha asau tattva agrahane tamasa anyata agrahana bija bhutena baddaha bhavati yasma turiyam tat sarvadrik sada turiya danyasya bhava sarvada sada eva bhavati sarvam cha tat dricha iti sarvadrik tasmat na tattva agrahana lakshanam bijam tatra tat prasutasya anyata agrahanasya api ataha eva bhavah नहीं सवितरी सवितरी सदा प्रकाशात्मक तद्दृत्तम अप्रकाशन अन्यदा प्रकाशन वा संभवती नहीं दृष्टि दृष्टे विपरीलोप विद्यते श्रुते अथवा जाग्र स्वप्नो सर्वूतावस्था सर्वस्तु दीर्घाभास आभास तुरी एवं सर्वृक्सा नान्यते अतः अस्त दृष्टु दृष्टि श्रुते नो ई डि ई वाज ट्रइंग टू लुक फॉर् समथिंग एल Let's just go to the next one. It is interesting to talk about that. Um, okay, so I think I don't know where I have. Where I saw that. Um, Yekarashi he right somewhere. okay so we will see later that one see what what he says okay let me give you what i was looking for bashigara says later that there are only two things okay one is anyata agrahanam which is swapna 
another is agrahanam which is nidra okay this anyada agrahanam is swapnam which includes both vishwa and taijasa they are ekarashi he says so the anyada agrahanam is what is so swap there is no difference between vekan and swapnam why in both there is the same thing which is anyada agrahanam whereas agrahanam is agrahanam is there anyada agrahanam is there both are there in swapna and vekan so both are swapna only that's how he, he derives both in fact garika gara also says that so swapnam is vekan and the dream state and the sleep nidra is agrahanam swapnam is anyata agrahanam so that is what is called vekan and dream like that he says okay so here also atma vilakshanam avidya bija prasutam bahyam dvaitam pragnya na kinchana samvetyata vishvatejasau in the in the vekan and dream you are saying dvaitaha dvaitam you are saying seeing duality i am separate from all these that is what we are talking about we are not talking about experience of dream or experience of vekan that doesn't concern us at all what is concerning is the dvaita bhavam the, the sense of duality separation is where is the problem okay and that is common in vekan and dream in dream also you look at others as away from you different from you you are afraid there is a tiger chasing you you run in dream in vekan also it is because there is a you can run that's okay so just because you became a jnani don't run i won't run from tiger that's not what we are saying what we are saying is that dvaita bhavam right the sense of duality is there anyata agrahanam anyata agrahanam of what the tattvam okay the tattvam is that everything is advayam atma prakasham only is everything now not having that is dvaitam that dvaitam is not seen in pragna state agrahanam only is there of what the advaita swarupa anyata agrahanam is not there therefore avidya bija prasutam born out of avidya what is avidya agrahana and that agrahana is bija for what anyata agrahana which is prasutam the the birth is atma vilakshanam avidya bija prasutam bahyam dvaitam pragnya na kinchana samvetti so the dvaitam is not seen by the pragnya yata vishvat but vishvatejasa are seeing the dvaitam we are not talking about seeing the world we are talking about the dvaita bhavam the dvaita bhavam is not explicit in deep sleep it is only in the seed form the dvaita bhavam is explicit in the dream and waken therefore the bahyam dvaitam pragnya na kinchana samveti yata vishvatai so tatascha aso ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣೆ ತಮಸ ಅನ್ಯತಾಗ್ರಹಣ ಬೀಜಭೂತೇನ ಬದ್ಧೋ ಬವತಿ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣೆ ತಮಸ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ದಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ಯತಾಗ್ರಹಣ ಬೀಜಭೂತ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೀಜಭೂತ ದ ತತ್ವ ಅಗ್ರಹಣ ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಜಭೂತ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ is bound by the tattva agrahanam which is the cause for anyata agrahanam whereas yasmat turiyam tat sarvadriksata whereas in the case of turiyam it is a sarvadrik what is sarvadriktvam he says turiyad anyasya abhavat sarvada sada eva bhavati sarvam sarvam chatate drik chatate iti sarvadrik so first it takes two meanings two two types of vyutpatti for that sarvascha asaudrikcha is what he takes now 
it is sarvam and it is dik why is it sarvam turiyad anyasya bhavat turiya is there in deep sleep in wake and in dream and in fact there is nothing other than turiya in all these three states therefore all that is here is only turiya so turiyad anyasya bhavat there is nothing other than turiya therefore sarvada sada eva bhavati sarvam all points in time in all stay all states everywhere even everything all that is there is only turiya therefore sarvada sada eva sarvam turiya eva so it is sarva and it is dikcha it is not a drashta it is not a drishyam it is a dik it is not seen it is a seer it is not objectified therefore it is sarva dik that's one with tas- tasmate न तत्व अग्रहण लक्षण बीज ओके तत्सूत अग्रहण से अभाव न हि सवितरी सदा प्रकाशात्मक तद्विधम अप्रकाशन अन्यता प्रकाशन वेरफोर दर् इज नीदर अग्रहण नार अन्यता अग्रहण नथिंग इज दर् इन दुर्यवेद नथिंग अदर दैन दुर्या गिव दिस एक्सापल सवितरी सदा प्रकाशात्मक तद्विधम अप्रकाशन अन्यता प्रकाशन वही इन सन विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लाइट द ग्लोरी ऑफ सन दर् इज नो डारेन दर् बी डारे आर हाउ अन्यता प्रकाशन सो सन इज इट्स ब्रईट सन दर् इज नो डिफरेंट कैंड ऑफ लाइट ओके दर् इज ओनली इट्स ओनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अन्यता प्रकाशन मीन इन इट लाइट इन अ डिफरेंट वे does it's not possible like you know three uh, three colors of the rainbow alone comes from the sun nothing like that it is one full brightness because anyata prakashanam we have to give a meaning no aprakashanam anyata aprakashanam va na sambhavati he uses that because agrahanam anyata agrahanam va na sambhavati so he takes sun so sun means one full light that's it that is sun there is nothing else nahu drashtuhu दृष्टे विपरीप विद्यते जाग्रस्वप्नेवस्तुदृगा सेकंड मीनिंग ही टेक्स वन इज परो भाव अनदर इज अपरो भाव सो यू टेक इट फ्रॉम दीज थ्री स्टेट्स विथ रेफरेंस टू दीज थ्री स्टेट्स इट इज द तुरिया व्हिच इज विटनेसिंग द डीप स्लीप इट इज विटनेसिंग द ड्रीम इट इज विटनेसिंग द वेकन देयरफॉर इट इज सर्वदृक गिविंग सर्टेन सर्टेन एम्पिरिकल रियलिटी टू द ड्रीम एंड डीप स्लीप एंड वेकन you can say it is sarvasya drashta na anyataha anyaha ataha asti drashtu and nothing else it is so this is like the one thing like in the next class we will see in modern vedanta they say i you have to understand the real self the i of i so they will put in translations of vedanta they will put swami used to talk about this they will put regular i and then one capital i the capital i is brahman i and the small i is jivatma i okay there is a jivatma i and there is a paramatma i okay it is like this kyatrajnam japima vidhi then there is a the regular atma and then there is a big atma paratma like uh, dwau hi suparno sayujau sakayo samane vrikshe that it says so there is one which is roaming and there is another which is still so therefore there is one drashtu which is like then you have to leave this small i and go to the big i that is jnanam they talk in vedanta, the modern vedanta that is all a problem there is no two i sir anything one is ahankara and another is atma okay ahankara is what they call as small i so we shouldn't get confused there is only one atma vastu which is swaprakasham swata siddham and that is the drashta that is the, that is sarvam dikcha it is sarvam what is seen also it is the dirk also it is that is why bashikara first meaning that is what he prefers sadaiva sarvada sadaiva bhavati sarvam dirkcha 
it is all that is here that is suriya that is sarva drikya sarvancha drikya that is the first meaning then no 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 i am seeing we can i am saying, then you can say okay from this perspective it is the drashta so it sarva drikya that is the second meaning but the first meaning is more strong it is like parobhava okay this is aparatma this is aparatma means om purnamad purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om